Well, hey church, my name is Joel Richards and um, I'm the youth pastor along with my wife, Amy, in our Manchester campus. And um, this is my devotional, my miracle. And um, I want to really quickly share two verses with you, a uh, quick thought and then a story of where I've seen God do a miracle in my life. And the uh, two verses I want to share really quickly is uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, for we walk by faith and not by sight. I love that verse, Mark eleven twenty four. 24, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. How good is it that we serve a God that hears our prayers? How good is it that we serve a God that actually answers our prayers? I love how simple the Bible kind of makes it. Our words, our prayers, plus our faith, no matter how small that faith might be. Mustard seed. The Bible says it can be the small as a mustard seed. Our prayers plus our faith gets heaven's attention, gets God's attention, and God hears our faithful prayers. And I love that second verse I read, Mark eleven twenty four, because that even goes a little bit deeper on this level of faith that we're talking about. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Believe that you've received your breakthrough and miracle before you've actually got it. That level of faith is so audacious and bold and courageous that it, 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 it's almost, how, how do you do that? And I absolutely love it because that is an audacious prayer, an audacious way to pray, believe and start to thank God for the miracle before and the breakthrough before you've actually seen it. Living in the miracle before anything has changed in the natural, praising God for the breakthrough before any walls have come down, choosing to take a step even though there seems to be an obstacle in the way. Audacious faith. I was on a missions trip in Ghana um, when I was uh, maybe 18, 19 years old. And uh, we were doing a uh, weeks long mission trip and we were evangelizing on the streets, praying for the sick, really incredible stuff and um, absolutely loved it. And the whole mission trip was building up to an invitational event where we were gonna invite people to church uh, and invite people to an event on the Friday. We've got this massive venue in Accra, the capital of Ghana. And um, the idea was that we were just gonna get as many people there and tell them about the good news of Jesus. And um, due to the size of the event, due to where we were located, we had to run all the PA systems on that Friday event, off generators, all the sound systems, lights, everything. And um, it got to the Friday, thousands of people literally were turning up for this event. And uh, we were so excited, so expectant for what God was gonna do. Anyway, 15 minutes before the event was about to start, um, the generators stopped working. Generators stopped completely, lights go out, the pre-service music goes off. It is like a disaster and very quickly becomes apparent to us and to the guys there that um, the generators were not gonna work. They were broken, finished. And we got quickly told that there was no generators left in Accra, that it was gonna take hours to find ones that to run the size of event, maybe even days. And we had a choice in that moment as a team to either cancel the event, send everyone home, or pray. Or pray for a miracle. Or pray for a, for a breakthrough. And I remember so clearly we gathered as a team together and we made the choice. We're not going to send people home. We're going to pray right now. And we actually started to apply that Mark eleven twenty four. Um, verse into that circumstance because we didn't actually just pray for our oh God, you know, you know, make the generators work. Our oh God, uh, please, please, please help, help, help. We didn't do that. What we started to do was we started to thank God and believe that the miracle had already come to pass. So we started to pray prayers of thanks, God. Thank you, God, for what you're going to do tonight. Thank you for the lives that are going to be transformed and changed off the back of this event. Thank you that this event is going to be uh, history making, that it's going to change generations to come. Thank you, God, that you have already fixed generators, that we are already going to see the word spoken and the gospel preached tonight. We started to thank and declare and praise God for what he was going to do at the event. And no joke and no lie, from the moment, at the moment, the last prayer was prayed, the last amen. I remember it so clearly. There was a person praying in the team, they were praying and they said, in your name, we pray, amen. On that moment of amen, the lights came back on, the sound system came back on and the generator kicked back in. It was a miracle. And it's because we chose to believe in that moment and start to thank God for what he was going to do. And off the back of that, thousands of people attended, hundreds of people got saved, generations of families being changed by the good news of the Bible. And I don't know what your miracle is that you need, I don't know what breakthrough 
you need. I'm not sure what impossible situation you face, but I want to encourage you to praise God on this side of the miracle, to make a choice that you're not just going to praise after the miracle, but you're going to start to thank God for that he is good. You're going to start to believe that he has got a plan and a purpose for your life, that he is at work in and through your situation. Start to thank him for the miracle before the miracle has even come to pass. There has been times, though, where I have prayed those prayers of thank you, God, for the miracle. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you do in this situation. Thank you that you are at work in the detail. Thank you, God. And the miracle hasn't happened. In fact, this, to this day, things I've been praying for for years for breakthrough and miracle, and I've still not seen it come to pass. But in those moments, I want to declare and encourage you that you've just got to believe that God is a miracle working God and that his timing is perfect. That he is in every detail, that he is in every situation and that he is good. The Bible declares that so many times that he is good to his core. He is good and you've just got to stand on that truth that he is for you that he is with you and that he loves you and the truth of the matter is even if maybe the miracle doesn't come to pass that he is in the detail of your situation and he works all things together for good for those that love him and that's what you've just got to do you got to stand on that truth you got to stand on that that truth and believe it i want to pray really quickly for you and then i'll send you off into your day wherever you are but right now just close your eyes where you are father god we just pray for every single person watching this right now, would you start to do a miracle in their lives? We pray for every situation, every impossible situation that needs a breakthrough. God, right now, we just pray for your supernatural power, your supernatural power to be at work for those that need healing, for those that need a breakthrough financially, for those that need a miracle in their family. Right now, we pray and we thank you in advance for what you're going to do on the other side of this prayer. God, your timing is perfect. We stand on that. Your timing is always perfectly timed, Jesus. So right now we stand on that truth and we thank you that you work all things together for good. Whatever outcome of the situation is that people are facing, we thank you that you are working for good and we believe right now. We believe on this side of the miracle and we thank you on this side of the miracle for your goodness, Father God. Give peace for every person right now who needs it. For every person who's believing that breakthrough, Father, right now we give peace of God. The Prince of Peace is that who you are, Jesus. Thank you, God, for who you are. Thank you, God, for what you do. Amen. So good, church. Well, I just pray right now that you have an absolutely incredible day and uh, we'll see you real soon.